What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're doing a head drain kit on an RB25. Like I said last video, the RB25 is the engine and gearbox has been test fitted in the car, so we've got to pull that today. Uh, we're just gonna get on with taking apart the engine mounts, get the gearbox mounts off, pull the engine out, then we can get down to doing the head drain kit install. So you go, so we've got the engine uh, hooked up to the engine crane, all done. So got the got poly bushes mounts with the hard race engine mounts. Like I said, so this is the stock S13 subframe. So it just uh, the engine mounts just come forward a bit on poly bush and mounts. Uh, this setup sort of keeps the engine quite nice and close to the firewall. But I don't know how much room we're gonna have to play with with the um, for the head drain kit. So that would be pretty close. So we'll see how that does. Um, yeah, and this side, so it's still quite a space to move around. So we're just going to pull those bolts out of the poly bush in, get the engine mounts off, and then we'll get the gearbox mounts off and pull the engine. All right, and guys, so engine's out, uh, so that's all done. Got Ben working in here in the trans tunnel, knocking it in. Obviously, because it's RB25 gearbox, uh, the trans tunnel's just a bit too tight because it's for a standard SR. Um, so Ben moves his fat lemon. <laughs> so, yeah, so he's just starting to knock it all through. You can see where we've done some previous work before. Um, it's all just scratched up. But basically, there's going to be a lot of knocking, a lot of loud noises, and we're going to annoy the neighbours for a good half an hour, just banging all that through. Um, and then we might end up just banging the top out here, you see where it's scratched for the head drain kit, because like I said, I'm quite worried about the um, the tight space there. So yeah, Ben will start banging that out, and then we'll give it a good uh, sand up and get some paint on it so it doesn't rust around thin, because it's all bare metal. Cool. And then uh, whilst he's doing that, so I've got the engine out, so the head drain kit. So that basically goes in this little port here. So you just pop that out of the screwdriver and I've ordered the parts. So I've got a super former head drain kit. See it? I'm trying to get the light on it. See that super former one? Got a nice little O-ring on it. Um, so yeah, that's a dash 10 A and fitting. Got all the bolts, got dash 10 line. So got all the fittings, uh, basically. So yeah, it's gonna be going onto that fit in there with the tissue in, you see? So that's the turbo oil drain. So what I'm gonna do, so so that's the fitting that goes in and replaces the stock one. That'll go to this uh, AN10 T fitting. So we get that um, and basically, so we'll get that going to the AN line round to the head drain kit. And then obviously, cause it's a T fitting, we'll have one to the head drain, one to the turbo, and that's it, we'll be sorted. Um, yeah, and we've got loads of little fittings to sort it all out. So I'm going to crack on with that. Ben's going to crack on knocking in the firewall and we'll see how it goes. Why are you getting out of that bush? Because there's a battery on the floor from the step on coming short time. <laughs> yeah, am I normally about six foot five? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I'm normally this tall, like, you know. Five foot nothing. What do you mean five foot nothing? I'm five foot nine, I have you, thank you very much. Ah, uh -huh. makes all the difference, does it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the head drain goes in here, the super former head drain that I ordered. So basically to get that out, just knock it out, get a screwdriver in there, knock it out. Comes out pretty easy. He says. <laughs> Bit tight, but yeah, it does come out pretty easy. So then you get your super former head drain. So make sure the O-ring's on there. That'll sit in there, quite nice. Fit. So now that's on, 
So basically, we're gonna mark those holes because you've got to drill and tap the head. So what I've done, I've got a drill, which is the same size as those holes. I'm just gonna lightly go in and just gonna mark where I'm gonna do it. Now I can take that off. See that's marked them. Quite nice. So now uh, the Superformer kits, they're M6 bolts. We're gonna go in with a five mil drill and then tap it M6. Uh, you can drill it with a head on, just use a lot of grease so no swarf gets inside, anything like that. That's just a bit of gasket that's coming out. And yeah, I mean, you're gonna have loads of shit in there anyway, but yeah, just try to use a load of grease so you don't get any swarf in there. Obviously you wanna keep your engine as healthy as possible, so. Yeah, we'll get that done. All right, so applied a bit of grease to the drill bit. Don't be scared, applied quite a bit. Like I said, you want to keep all the swarf out of the engine. I've got a bit on my fingers. I'm just going to put it on the back side so it catches any swarf and then I can just hook it out after it's drilled. And yeah, like I said, on the mark that I made earlier, just go in. And just right side so we drilled both holes, tap both holes. When you're tapping it, I'd say take it out about three or four times, make sure you get all the swarf off of it, because that last little bit where you break through to the back, that's when all the swarf's gonna fall in. And obviously if you're doing it when you're not taking the covers off, and you're just trying to do it like this and make sure you get no swarf in, yeah, just before you break through, take it out, clean the tap, put a load more grease on, put some grease around the back so it captures it all, then just finish that last little bit. And that'll keep most of the swarf out. So now we've got both, it, both tapped. Um, we're just gonna put the Superformer head drain in, uh, so it's got the oil ring on. Um, so just gonna pop that in, pop the screws in, probably gonna put a bit of Loctite 648 on them. Not much though, because you don't want them going into the head. Um, yeah, so once we've got that on, um, we can put our AN fittings on, cut the hose, and then that'll be it, ready to go back in the car. All right, so head drain kit's on, it's all Loctited on. That's all on, got the fitting on. Uh, we've put some other fittings on down at the drain end as well. Made our A-in line, so all we've got to do, put the A-in line on, make sure there's no leaks, and then it's ready to go back in the car. Um, so Ben's been knocking in the firewall, sanding the firewall, and he's got some, uh, he's put a couple layers of primer on, a couple layers of paint, so just gonna let that dry. Maybe another layer of paint, bit of lacquer, and then the car can go in. So probably be a while waiting for it to dry. Um, let's get the A-in line on. It's a pretty simple install, but it can be a pain in the ass <laughs> on the first try. So this is obviously an exhaust side for the turbo. Um, to be fair, the only other thing, so we've got another exhaust manifold, a proper sprayed up one. This one's cracked and we're just using it just to help lift with the engine at the moment. Um, so yeah, so we've got another one uh, paint all painted up and stuff, heat treated. So we need to take that off, get some exhaust studs, um, get a new uh, gasket as well, get the manifold on, and then this side is just the turbo. So we need to order a turbo, I haven't ordered one yet. Um, so yeah. And then uh, what I'm going to try to do through this lockdown that we've got going is so I'm going to get these rocker covers off, get them blasted down, sanded, um, because they're just manky at the moment. They're covered in rubbish. So I'm going to I'm going to test the colour on them, which I might spray the car. I'm going to see how it comes out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to get that done over this lockdown. Uh, get those back. So then it, basically the the engine will be pretty sweet, other than obviously put turbo on. And then the other side, there's just quite a bit to do. Um, so yeah, so I've just put those on finger tight, need to tighten those up. So 
there you can see full AM lines all the way around down to the T fitting so obviously the other side on the T fitting that'll be for the turbo drain and just straight into the bottom so yeah and it's all done up and tight okay all right so Ben's uh, knocked in the firewall sanded it down sprayed it like I said um so it does look wet at the moment obviously it's freshly sprayed when uh, you know get some lacquer on it and it dries out it won't look as shiny compared to everything else um I mean Obviously, everything else is just dusty at the moment. Like, yeah, this is just my garage at home. It's just concrete dust getting everywhere, so. But, yeah, so we just cleaned up that area that we knocked in, sprayed it, so that's all done. Um, another sort of mod that we done a while ago, which I didn't end up filming, was uh, on the stone rack here. Um, so, basically, it comes with a rubber sort of joint in there which over time flexes and it's just terrible, you know, for your steering reaction and all the play that you get from your steering, it's rubbish. So you swap it out for an aluminium bushing and the feel for the steering comes just a thousand times better. Um, so that's a nice little quick one to do on the S chassis. So yeah, so we'll get lack on the paint, get it dried, get the engine back in and uh, hopefully get some rocket covers off the paint. Don't know if that'll be this video or the next one. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. In first and then do engine nuts. Um, yeah, I suppose we'll just locate the bolts. Yeah, do that first. Put the bolts and we went to put the nut on, we'll just locate the bolts. Yeah, just yeah engine mount. Yeah, okay, cool. All right. Head drain kit's all done guys, uh, so we're going to whack the engine back in now, that's it, end of the day, get it in and get it done. You ready? You look so motivated. I'm playing with it's yeah. fine. <laughs> we'll just get some beer, we'll get some more beer. I've got throat. Oh, mine's nearly empty. Go oh. on, give me another beer. You're actually going to get me a beer? I don't give a f**k, you can't go get me a beer. I'll go get a beer. Let's go get me a beer. Uh, yeah, the beer fridge. I feel like we need to get a beer fridge in the garage. There's one in the house. I think it needs to be... Did you not get yourself one? No, I'm driving. You went all that way to get me a beer? I don't give I'll oh. let you do that shit. I can't be asked. You're so nice. I licked it, so you've got coronavirus now. It's fitting, considering I'm drinking corona. Uh, I'll let you lift the beer box. Hmm. Good. Oh, I got your beer, so... Alright, so it all comes out now, so you got the beer, so I have to do the heavy lifting. Oh, you're f***ing language. Okay. Learn to believe in the guitar. Oh, If you were going to do an engine swap in this, what would you put in it? What, in that? Yeah. Alias. <laughs> Typical <laughs> Alias, like everyone knows. <laughs> what, what engine would you put in, guys? Leave a comment down below. Be gay, put a rotary in. Rotary in an SLT? No. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be pretty badass. What, free rower? Well, what, what would you do? Three rotor, four rotor, or just a standard twin rotor turbo? Probably three rotor. I'll say that. What? Three rotor and A? Mm. Put a turbo on it. Put a turbo on it. Why not? Why not? Get some good noises. Now, what it wants is a supercharged LS. Mm. I think supercharged SR20. That's, that's just good. But, I mean. I will do one of those one day, but okay, yeah. That's all 20, it's super All right, let's get this engine in. I'll whack a time lapse on.
All right, so we ended up pulling it back out because like I said, I was worried about that head drain kit hitting the firewall. It did actually hit. So you see that bit that we've just, um, oh, Ben, you got like, So you see that bit that we've just knocked in, it was uh, hitting, even though we had knocked it in before, it's just not enough. It's quite a beefy head drain kit to be fair. And with this um, engine mount set up, it's just, it just wasn't enough. So we knocked in some more and uh, yeah, we'll try another test fit now. Do you want to explain what you've done, Ben? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Bloody rookie, he's dropped a nut and now he cannot find it. And it hit <sighs> it with a bloody hammer in a minute. It's like the last bolt as well. The last nut. Dipping right. <coughs> Dom in the bungalow. Yeah, I dropped a nut. Drops from here. <sighs> Come on, Dom. 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 Come on, Oh. They've got burgers, kebabs. I've just found out that they even do chicken wings and pizzas and wraps. Which chip are you right. talking about? This night's right. getting better for me. Ben bought me a beer and now you're offering to get me chippy. I didn't say I was getting it. No, I think he will pick it up, but you're still paying. <laughs> it gets delivered as well, so I ain't even going to get it. Oh, right, see so how it is. Well, I keep seeing the car out and about and I thought, I'm going to find out. And Mum said they're open 7 till 9. I was like, where's that? 7 Yeah, I'm open for chippy. Now. Right. It's all the chippy. Ben, find, find the bloody nut. nut. Leave me be to find the nut. Didn't you have a big pokey gravity figure? Yeah, no, I don't know where yeah. it's gone. That's the problem. Yeah, I don't know. Connor, you're much useful as a chocolate teapot. Oh. Much oh, useful. Oh, Is that good grammar? Yeah. Much useful. Engine I engine speak good pretty. words. Much useful. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me load words. Listen, they're going underneath here. So, so I dropped it. Well, I can't see it on the floor. That's the problem. I don't know if it's hit something and bounced off into this. Or if it's found it somewhere. Because you're not here. You've got a spark me bag and I can't do it in here. It's going up. Because it's not ventilated, Jordan. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a ventilator. Right uh, hang on. Blow it out. Blow it out. Oh, you. No. No, no, what's his bag for you? I've done it with Rich's exhaust on his Subaru many years ago. It was not a good idea. Close. Next time. I promise I won't do your eyebrows. Next <laughs> one. What's my elbow starting to sting now? Well, what'd you do to it? I scratched it. I scraped it on the floor. Oh, you scraped your elbow. <laughs> you got a boo boo. Garlic mayo, mayo. Try and take the ink out of my fucking <coughs> I don't mayo. want that anymore. I'm just going to wrap it up with water. <laughs> I'm an old man falling apart. <clears throat> don't know why you put that away. You've got to get the engine crane out, yeah? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Alright, so that's it guys, head drain kit installed, engine's back in, ready to go. Um, so the only thing we'll have to take the gearbox mounts off for is the prop shaft when we get the one piece made, uh, when this blooming lockdown's finally over, we'll get that done. Um, but yeah, other than that, engine's in, doesn't have to come out now. Um, so yeah, we can crack on getting the new exhaust manifold on, get the studs in, turbo inlet, get some radiator intercooler on and let's get ripping. Uh, shit. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, like last video, comment what you did like, what you didn't like, and also leave a comment what engine you would put in an S13. Me, I'm on RB all the way, Ben's LS. I'm sure some people are going to come up with some weird and wonderful stupid engines. But yeah, see you next time guys.